previously on Juliana and Bill. Baby shower, what's up? Who thinks it's a boy? So I'm here uh, with the Altman brothers looking at a house and it is gorgeous. I think we should get the house. Okay, based on what intelligence? Because we're having a baby. We can stay in the house we're in. You know it's too small, Bill. I need your signature right here. Okay. All right. Yay! Yeah. Oh, sweet home. Because the moment is right here, it's clear, so near in the palm of your hand. I gotta say, I'm feeling lot better about the baby coming. We took classes, mm -hmm. we um, read books, but I still just don't feel like I'm ready yet. Here's the deal. It's natural to have a little bit of nerves, you know? This is a major life change. Mm -hmm. This is something that we've never done. And if we didn't have a case of the nerves, I would say something is wrong. Right. We're gonna do maternity leave in Chicago. Your mom and dad will come out. Yeah. We got my mom and my sisters and my nieces and nephews. That'll be great. It is very important to us to surround our baby with friends and family, so I'm going to spend my two-month maternity leave in Chicago. This is our town. We're looking at all of our options. Ideally, we'd like a nice house, but we just don't have enough time. So I've got something a little more temporary in mind. You do? Of course. He's the king of the backup. I like to have insurance. Now, I have a very serious question to ask you. Are you planning on braiding those nose hairs? <laughs> <laughs> Cold. Is that Why an Italian thing? I hope my kid doesn't have those. You know what? It's have like you ever seen your? Okay, you know what you do? That's so disgusting. Would you okay. like me to do what you do? This is you. When we're in the car and you're driving at a red light, you go like this. And that's disgusting. On a serious note, though, this house is going to be done before you know it, and I really think you need to get some help. I think an interior designer will come in handy. If my husband is telling me go use a decorator, no, I'm not going to argue with you. No, I'm glad. It's a good idea. Trust me. And so, so you'll work on that, I'll yes. work on housing in Chicago. We are now at the stage with the new house where it's time to hire an interior designer. And this is my favorite part because I have so many ideas. Well, we've got a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. Yeah. But if we stay focused, we'll get it done. Don't worry. Have I ever let you down before in the housing arena? Don't even get me started. That's what I said. That's don't what even, I thought. Rancic, don't even get me started. Mr. Housing, they call me. Top of the show, coming to you, three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm Bill Rancic. And I'm Lisa Givens. Nice to have you here for this edition of America Now. Today I'm in the set of America Now with Lisa Givens and we've got a long day ahead of us. We're shooting 23 episodes today and we're just getting started. So we got six shows done, is that right? Yeah. yeah. This hair is like bulletproof. <laughs> have to make it bulletproof. How long did we wait this morning for Bill to be ready? Oh. Bill Pomade Rancic is now a target. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Lisa and I have a great relationship. She's been in this business a long time. She's a real professional. Uh, but we kind of have a brother-sister relationship, and you know, we like to rib each other a little bit from time to time. Bill, see, nothing gets stuck in your teeth. Please. Because you have perfect teeth. The good thing is you, yours, yours come out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really brutal. Bets are off now. You want to play, Gibbons? We can play. The gloves have been removed. Bye, guys. OK, all set. Um, before we go, though, we have to talk about tomorrow. Yeah. You have to pick your interior decorator and finalize that oh, yes. because you're leaving for Vail in like a week. Oh. So you have to get that done. And then, speaking of Vail, we have to book your flights and plan that whole trip. Oh, my gosh. Schedule the ultrasound. The, there's even breast cancer luncheon that trip. Wow. Lots going on. There's a lot to do. Yeah. All right, we're going to get it all done, though. We will. We always do. I hope. <laughs> I hope, Sarah, I hope. Today I'm taking Brenda, Sarah, and Lena 
to the nail salon for a little girl time. You know, with everything that's been going on with work and with the house and the baby coming, I just feel like I need to de-stress before I start dealing with everything. My nails are so disgusting right now. Look at this. And are really bad too. So bad. <clears throat> I haven't gotten a pedicure forever. You've been so busy, you've just been neglecting your nails. I have been. It's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. And it's only gonna get worse once the baby gets here. Listen, my goal is to obviously be a cool mom and a cool wife right. and not lose my mojo. But I feel like those are famous last words. You're gonna be like a career mom, like a working mom and hot mom. I mean, yeah. What if I You're gonna be a hot mom. But doesn't everyone say that? And then the next thing you know. Well you're sexy because you didn't just like have a baby and twenty pounds to lose. Aren't I gonna be tired? I'm gonna I'm gonna be walking around with like puke all over me and pee pee in my face. I'm just scared. I feel like I'm finally getting motherhood down, but now I'm starting to think, oh my gosh, is the baby gonna change my relationship with Bill? You know, you hear these stories of women who like have a baby and then suddenly all the sexy goes away in their relationship. So I want to avoid that happening before it actually happens. All I know is I can't lose my pre-mom mojo when the baby comes. We won't comes. let you. No. Yeah. You know, I still want to like care about fashion and look cool and like still do my hair and makeup. Duh. You have to like work out, go out with us, keep your sexy lives, strip. Maybe you should get a pole in your room. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I, should I? Do I have to do that? Maybe. Brenda, have you ever stripped? Because you look like a stripper. <laughs> I wish. I thought about it. Out of the four of us, you would command the most money. Lena looks like stripper more than I do. For sure. But like, she thinks I look like a stripper. Honestly, I'm just not feeling the stripper thing. But I am willing to try something else to keep my mom, Joe, alive. So I am definitely very open to suggestions. And I think we're going to come up with something good. All right, we got to find something that we can all do that'll keep us sexy, okay? Before okay. the baby comes. I love how I'm just throwing you all into this, like it's your baby too. Brenda, show me a stripper move. You have to, like, your hair Oh, around. good one, good one. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no, oh, that's bad. That was stripper move. You have to be in it to win it, dude. Bill, Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over here. Today, Bill and I are meeting with Lonnie. Yeah, Lonnie is a very successful entrepreneur. She has her own design company, and I've got to say, she's very talented. So we're going to take her through the house and give her an idea of kind of what our vision is when it comes to decorating. On a budget. Decorating. On a budget. Rancic. We want it to be really comfortable. People want to come over. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh my God, I want to go to their house. It's such a great house. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. We're in a different zone now. Mm -hmm. Like we have a baby coming. So right. I think you want a little bit more of a family Something comfortable. comfortable. And like, you know, a love like white and soft blues. Or, you know, right. White and soft blues are great. Yeah, you'll, you're going to love some of the pictures I pulled. Really? Yeah, oh, that's good. exactly oh, what okay. I did. Whites and blues. OK, good. Yeah. yeah. Juliana and I want the house to be comfortable, yet stylish, yet baby friendly. We want something like fabulous and glamorous and luxe. Within a reasonable price. Oh, God. This would be nice, though, to have two sofas, one on either side of the fireplace. Yeah, that would be great. Do you like wallpaper? Like yeah. Oh, good. I love wallpaper. I do. I love wallpaper. Yeah. Yeah, it warms it up. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to do a pattern in here, some I sort of pop. Totally. This was a kind of bonus room, but we made it my closet. Aww. Isn't it great? Yes. So this is going to be amazing. That's a purse wall. Every section needs a closet. Right? Like this this is an amazing it's a behemoth. Closet. And then look, I can leave the doors open, and my friends can. You can have a little wine out here while in I get ready. Closet? I have to say, I am so excited about my closet. It's a little overkill. It's a large closet. What do you want from me? It is excessive. No, it's not, honey. I have a lot of pairs of shoes, I have a lot of clothes. Listen, you got to pick your battles, Rancic, because you do not want to get in between a girl and her closet. This is great. Isn't this great? Mm -hmm. Pretty, right? It's amazing. Oh, Hi. 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 How are you? I'm good. Well, how are you? This is Lonnie. Hi. Hey, Lonnie, great nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you, too. I feel like I. 
shit hanging. Shoes on. Lonnie is an interior designer. I buy from you guys all the time. Awesome, we love that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we love Circa. Yeah. That's not gonna work. Right. These are not gonna work. Okay, they're too big. If you had two of them, you a you need the smaller size. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Just doesn't These go with the house, right? These are awesome, but they don't go with the house. Yeah. And this, nope. Ideally, what we want to accomplish with the lighting is really to just enhance the beauty of the house. Well, that's true, but we are a little bit limited because the lighting plan has already been done. Right. So unfortunately, we have to work around what's already there. Let's head on up. <laughs> Let's take her upstairs. Okay. Wait, what about something up there? But they can cut them. It's too late. You know, you have these two big cans in here. It's just a shame they're such big cans. I like big cans. What can I tell you? <laughs> I have my whole life. And I love this freestanding tub. Isn't this mm -hmm. beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no light. What? What? This guy didn't cut lights in here? <gasps> That's wrongness. Here? Yes. You really you want. This is your master bath. Yes. You want lights on the side of your mirror, you know, on the side yeah. of your face. So there's really a couple of issues here. So do we have to tell the developer what to do? Yeah. Right? Like tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. I, I keep uh, thinking they're going to I was going to sit down on it. Not loud. All right, so we're good in here, I guess. Yes. Good in here. Here's our dilemma. We need to be here in a month. So I think, I, but no, okay. I think. She has my but, face. Okay. No, but I think, I think you've got to start, we've we'll got to start it. getting the list of, of things checked off that are mission critical oh. to being able to move in in 30 days. Mission critical. Well, we have to move out of our other house because okay. it's sold. Even though we're spending two months in Chicago for maternity leave, we still need the house to be done because we want everything finished, buttoned up, ready to go. So when we bring the baby home, it isn't a construction site that's dangerous. Yeah, a construction site is not the right place for a newborn no. to be. So it's better to just get it done a couple of months before we get to LA. The meter is now running. Oh okay. God. Stick to the budget, ladies. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Where do you want to eat, honey? You want pizza? When have I ever said no to pizza? That's true, we will have some pizza. You know who we should check in with Delphine? See yeah. how she's doing, huh? Delphine? Hey, Delphine. Hi. Hey, Delphine. Hi, Bill. How are you? Great. We're in the home stretch, kiddo. Yes. No, it's going to be here before we know it. Yes, I'm very excited. I got to say, Delphine, wow. She's a trooper. Yeah, we got to hand it to her. She has done everything right, and she's just been amazing and giving us the most incredible gift we could ever ask for. So we're so thrilled. We just wanted to check in, see how you were doing, and also let you know that we are coming to Vail soon, right outside Denver, giving a speech there. So we'd love to see you. That would be awesome. Yeah. All right, thanks, Delphine. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Did you have a good shower, baby? I did. Yeah? We gotta get to all those presents, man. I know. And I'm leaving for Chicago. You know, I gotta find us a place to live there. I got a lot going on, you know? I'm gonna go to Walter E. Smith to look for furniture for the new house. Mm, I see where this is going. <laughs> you should go Whoa. through the 8,000 gifts and write thank you cards. But that's what a woman does. Boo? I, I don't write that. Like, you know, women, that's more of like a womanly thing to do. Seriously, Rancic, what are we in the 1950s? I mean, what is this? Do you know how many gifts there are? I mean, we're very lucky to have gotten these beautiful gifts. It's going to take a while to go through all of them. I can't do it alone. There's an old term. It's called divide and conquer, honey. I'll find us a place to live. You write the thank you cards. Fine. Deal. Love you. Love. I'm going to go pack. Have fun. I can't promise that. I think this is gonna be a California one. This will be Chicago. Hey honey, I'm at the storage locker. Can you call me back as soon as possible? I'm just making some decisions on what's gonna stay, what's gonna go here. So I'm in Chicago briefly to go over exactly what we need from the storage locker to ship back to the new house in California. And let me tell you, we've got a long way to go. Mm. Master bath towels, no. 
So the end one is California, that, that last unit. So we've got this, California, California, California. She's bathroom, yeah, that'll go California. It's all her bathroom junk. Man, what a waste. Is she kidding me? What's that got in it? It's got garment bags that you get for free. What am I, paying by the pound just to send this stuff to California? Yes. Yeah. You guys got a good business here. It is a good one. I'm trying to find this. I have an old Walter Payton football I want. I'm gonna pass it on down to my son. There it is. All right. He will be getting this. That is nice. We'll make sure that that's packed so this properly. Is gonna go. That's going to California. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so we, sure we gotta that. talk because we want this to get there. We got yes. a month. Yeah. It's gonna be problematic. You may be into the month of August. Into the month of August? Yes. Okay, like the first week of August. Mm, maybe the second week. We're booked. Wow. We're booked. Good I week. will work as quickly as I can to see when we can get it there. Okay. I gotta be honest, I'm very concerned that we're not gonna get everything shipped when we need it. Sometimes things can take a little bit longer than they expect. So I'm really hoping that the shipping company can be a little flexible with us. I will work on this and you'll hear from me okay. within the next day or so. Okay. Thank you guys, thank you. We'll Thanks see you. Help. Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you. Yeah, you too, been too long. Mamma. Hola, come stai? Bene, how are you, Mom? Fine, fine, thank you, thank you. I'm calling Mama DePandy because I'd like to hear from her how she kept the old fires burning with my dad after she had me and my brother and my sister. And I know it's something that could be strange to talk to your mom about, but I'm a grown woman, she's a grown woman. We can handle this. Mom, you know how the baby's coming very soon? Yeah, come and know that. So I was out with my girlfriends and, you know, we were saying how when you become a mother, that yeah. sometimes you lose your uh, your mojo, like your mom Joe. What do you lose? So I was out with my girlfriends, and you know, we were saying how when you become a mother, sometimes you lose your uh, your mojo, like your mom Joe. What do you lose? I'm on the phone with Mama DePandy, my mom, trying to get her to understand what mojo is, but she has no idea what the heck I'm talking about, so this is not easy. Yeah, like you become a mom and then you lose the sexy. Ah, si. No, no, no. I don't lose the sexy, Cara. Ooh, damn. <laughs> you don't lose the sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you not lose the mom, Joe? Like, when you had me and Monica and Pasquale, you still were sexy for dad? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, when your father come home, the house clean, and the wife nice. <laughs> so you felt still sexy? Yes. Okay. Like mother, like daughter. So hopefully I'll be just like you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, mom, love you, you're the best. Good advice, thanks mom for your advice. So this is it. This is it, yes. This is a two bedroom suite and it's very comparable to the residence suites that have the kitchen. Very nice, well let's, let's take a look. Sure. Today I'm in Chicago, I'm taking care of a few things. One of them is finding us a place to live while we're in Chicago with the baby. The plan is to spend the first couple months in Chicago before we go back to LA. So I thought, what a better place for us to be than a private residence inside of a luxurious hotel. Nice, and nice. Then, Family room, a little dining room. Absolutely. Um, you can't beat that view. The views are spectacular. Wow, look at that. And there's a bedroom over here. Absolutely. This would be like the king, the master, okay. the master bedroom. You can hang out and, wow, look at that. Hm. That's spectacular. The apartments here are a separate part of the hotel and man, they are nice. We're looking for a two bedroom apartment where we can stay with the baby and the baby nurse. So I gotta look at the different floor plans and see what's gonna work best for us. Here's a good one with two. There's one with two bedrooms and you see like the kitchen, like I said, mm -hmm. that's more the square kitchen right off the dining area. What's the biggest one? The biggest one would be 1,200 square feet. Wow, 
And people come in and live here for months at a time? Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's the longest 30... someone's ever stayed? Oh, so probably six months or so. Wow. <laughs> I love it because it's like, you know, you have, you get to enjoy all the amenities of a hotel mm -hmm. guest, you know, while really kind of being in your own home. Turn down. Turn down, yeah. yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. You come that. back from a busy day and it's all set for you and it's mm -hmm. just really nice. Hey, honey. Hi, how are you, babe? I am good, I'm good. I'm in the residence suite and I think I found a great layout. Okay, great. Yeah. So, I mean, not a bad way to, to start. This little guy's going to be spending his first two months of his life at the Four Seasons. I mean, seriously, how do you go up from there? <laughs> I mean, that's like, you know, when I was a kid growing up, like, what do you think, you're at the Four Seasons? Go pick up your dishes. You know, my mom would always say. The hardest part of all of it is going to be moving out. That's going to be the hardest part. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're going to hear crying. You're going to be getting crying. You're going to be crying. Yeah. Well, I think, I think I've picked out a good layout, so you're going to have to trust me. All right, well, thank you so much. I'm so excited. All right, love you, honey. Thanks. Bye, Bye Juliana. Okay. I'll start to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, girls. Woo! We're all instructors, Laura. Laura. And just have fun. Yay! And we're going to be sweaty and feel sexy, and we're going to have our mom Joe. Well, you guys don't want I mom don't Joe. Want no. You're mojos. <laughs> You and our mom Joe. I've decided to take the girls to my Zumba class to try to keep my mom Joe intact. I figure, you know what? This will help with the sexiness and it'll also help keep my stamina up for when that little boy comes. Oh my God, it's already started. Oh my God, I totally forgot how grueling Zumba is. And I think it definitely helped me, but I definitely still need some advice. You know what I mean? I don't think Mom Joe's all about the physical. I think there's a lot of emotional that goes with it. Gentlemen. Good to see you. Right, good to time see you. no see. Good to see you, Bill. Welcome. Yeah. Two owners. This is my lucky day. I love working with people in Chicago. So since I'm here, I thought I'd go over to Walter E. Smith. You know, my goal is to really just to kind of get the lay of the land. And then I can incorporate Lonnie. She can make all the, the executive decisions. And we can get this house ready to go. Well, I, I think I told you on the phone, yep. you know, we're moving into a new house in Los Angeles. And I'm keeping it very Chicago. We're going to bring Chicago to LA. And this is a great store. When are you moving in? In about a month. Okay, it's coming up fast. Yeah, it's coming up fast. We better get so, to work. Like this would be great for like one of the upholstered rooms. Upholstered beds are really popular. She loves the upholstered yeah. beds. You can change the fabrics. You can add or drop buttons if uh, if you and Juliana want that. Yeah, those are great. Like that's 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 her style. You know. Okay. Our style, I guess we could say. Her style is now my style. Right. Right. Yeah, how about the living room? Yeah, this is where you go. You watch a game. Yep. You know, you get your remote control. Is that, is that delivering on comfort for you? It's pretty darn good, I'd say. Yeah. Truthfully, the biggest factor in selecting furniture, for us, it's time. Because we don't have a lot of it, and we got to get this house done and ready to go before the baby arrives. So lead time's on a lot of this stuff. Six to eight weeks is our normal lead time. Holy smokes. And then if you get into a hand-woven custom rug, it can be six months. No, no, no. no. We got a month. But we want to get cracking. Yeah, we want to get cracking. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. We're moving in a month, and we have a ton of stuff to do, and nothing seems to be working at this point. Thanks, guys, and I look forward to you know seeing the house done. The clock is officially started. Okay, let's get yeah. to work, yeah. Tim. Yeah, I mean, All right. I really appreciate you. it. You guys are great. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, thank you. Real pleasure. Much. Thank yeah. you. You know what? You guys open the door. I'm scared. Me? Okay. You've seen it. Too. Come here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy mother of baby. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy, right? Crazy. I know. I know. How do you, you can't even walk. Are there bodies in here? There's like oh. seven of everything. Let's start doing this. Yeah. This is let's gonna take it. a long time. All right, let's grab some stuff. Well, yeah. We'd yeah. be here all night. So, 
since Bill insisted that I open up all the baby shower gifts and I write all the thank you cards while he's in Chicago, I figured I might as well have fun with it, right? So I invited all the girls over to help out with the madness. And listen, obviously I'm so grateful that we got these amazing gifts, but it's gonna be a lot to go through, so I need their help. All right, Sarah, you're up. All right, this is from the Fashion Police team. For Are me? ready? All right, go. <laughs> What the hell is that? Pack and play. Well, what do you pack and play? It's like when you need a like <laughs> shower, you put your kid in there. If you don't have a oh, daddy. Oh, unsupervised? Yeah. Cool. What is that? The freshest kid on the block. <laughs> You're having a boy. I don't like all in one. Where's the bib, the pacifier, and the socks and the hat? Do you know that Bill has like allergic reaction to green? No. Really? I think these are from family members. Let's get rid of this. Really? This? I can't. You work on fashion police. I mean, what the hell is this? It's like putting your kid in a SpongeBob t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know if it's the wine or the company, what it is, but some of these gifts are totally cracking me up. Some of these clothes that like my cousin's cousin sent us, I probably wouldn't put on our kid, you know? I don't want him to end up on fashion police. Can you imagine? Joan Rivers would just never approve of some of these clothes, ever. Let's get fancy. Do, this looks fancy. <gasps> oh, oh Instead of aviators, they're babyators. <gasps> oh, that's, that's so cute. cute. Oh, oh, the card. I want to wear them. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> they fit? <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> when I'm reading to the baby, should I be like, three, two, <gasps> I am your water wing. <laughs> I am your open arms. You are my running lead. Do it for me. This is E News. That's so cute. Oh. Do you realize we're barely scratching the surface? Is the room so full? Yes. Yeah. The room's full as a mother. Let's get it. We gotta do this. We gotta get this done. Let's go. This is the first time we've had a husband and wife team. I'm still in awe that Juliana and Bill are here. They're amazing people, and I give you Bill and Juliana Rancic. It's my good side. <laughs> he knows that too. <laughs> and he tries to snake my good no, side all the time. Today, Bill and I are in Bell, Colorado for a breast cancer awareness luncheon. And it's kind of crazy because in all this prep for the baby and, and dealing with the new house, I haven't really thought about cancer in a while, which is such a good thing. But at the same time, I know it's so important to kind of, you know, share my story and, and hope to help people. Cancer does affect the whole family and I'm glad to be there to support my beautiful wife. Thank you, honey. Thank you all for coming. Our journey has really been what we like to call an unplanned plan because the way we met was unplanned. We were yeah. in love. Well, for me, it was definitely yeah, love at first. Absolutely. No, I had never done that. <laughs> this is where you say it was for me too, honey. It was for me too, honey. <laughs> yes. I love telling the story of how Bill and I met, but it's very funny because he always seems to remember it a bit differently than I do. And whether it was love at first sight is irrelevant because I love you now, my darling. Hmm. We went to Capri, Italy, and we took our vows in front of, you know, the big man above. And little did we know that later on those vows would be tested, you know, the in sickness and in health part. I don't have a family history of breast cancer. I thought, Ugh, I'm not due for a mammogram for four years. I didn't have a lump. I thought, there's no way, I feel amazing. And I go to the doctor's office and I'll never forget, I'm just sitting in that room and I'm about to go, you know, I gotta get to work and I start talking. And the doctor looks at me and goes, you have breast cancer, you know. Start crying? Okay. okay, sorry. Never gets easy, does it? Never gets easy. I swear, it's like it never gets easy telling the story. It just brings me back to this very raw, sad place. And it was just such a terrible time for the two of us. It's tough. And, and you know, we had to rewrite our plan because when Juliana was diagnosed with cancer, it changes everything. And that's life. It's scary. I cried a lot. I bitched and moaned a lot. And just one day you go, I can try to take this negative and turn it into a positive. And I encourage women to get checked because if you can find the cancer early, it's something like an over 95% chance 
that you'll be okay. I'm better now than I was before I had cancer. And if I, thank you. <laughs> I'm more than five. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I think the speaking engagement went really well. I think we're really good together, yeah, Rancic. I got to agree. I think it's great. And it's important to you know spread the word and raise awareness. And hopefully we can do that by sharing our story. Yeah, we definitely have to keep this up and do more of these in the future because it's a very important mission for us. You know, if you can just change one life, you're done. You're done. You did it. How nice was everyone today? Oh my God, I love you. Very I love proud you too. of you. Thank you, Annie. I'm proud of you too. Wait, hold on. I just want to say one more thing. Remember when, before we got up to do the speech, I looked over at you in a lovingly wifey way and I said, honey, do I have anything in my teeth? And I went... Right, you had nothing in your teeth. Why is it when I got in here and I went to the bathroom, there was a giant green thing right here, Bill? I didn't see it. I saw it and every picture now is going to have it. I'll show you on Twitter. There was nothing green in our, in our, in our dish. Yes, there was. The I love you. The asparagus. It's packed. When you have a poop stain on your boxers, I tell you. No, you don't. But. <laughs>7-month ultrasound with Delphine. It's just insane. I can't believe we've come so far and you know the baby's going to be here before we know it. And Delphine's last baby, she delivered 2 weeks early, so he could be here even earlier than we anticipate. When I look back on our journey, we had we've had a rough road, you know, and we've had a lot of ups and downs and we didn't think we would ever get to this place. Yeah. God has been good to us. Look at the tongue. Okay. The tongue comes out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> he's not yeah, very he's like that. Like yeah. So right now he's at 30 th this week. Thursday. He's 33 or 34 weeks. 33, I think. 33, I think. Yeah. Like it's totally viable at this stage of the game, right? It's totally viable at this stage of the game, right? Yeah, if the baby is born right now, you know, chance of survival is you know, almost 100%. Wow. It's almost the same as full term. As long as he's healthy, you know? Yes. Yeah. The organs are all formed. They are. They modify a little bit. The lungs become able to kind of transition that oxygen. But as far as the baby, if it came out right now, it looks like a little baby. Mm. It does? Yeah. Wow. All the fingers and toes and everything there. You can see the lips a little bit better there. Oh, yeah. look at him. How is it compared to your other pregnancies? He's been good. He moves a lot, and, but that's good because at least I know he's doing good. You've come a long way, Delphine. Oh my yeah. gosh. You can see. Mm -hmm. crazy yeah, look at, look there. Yeah. See. Oh my god, I feel it. I feel it, Bill. You gotta feel. Oh, wow. isn't he cute? He's Holy in the, smokes. He said hi. He high five. Wow. We're gonna be holding him before we know it, you know? Yeah. I can't believe we're six weeks out. Mm -hmm. Bye, baby. See you, buddy. Six weeks. We've pretty much done everything to prepare for this baby, uh, but I'm just hoping that we've done enough. Yeah, and I, and I gotta be honest, I think what we're going through is pretty normal. Most expecting parents tend to go through these things. You start to second guess yourself. It's so hard to believe. It's everything we've wanted for so long, and it's finally happening. I'd like to have you guys involved in the delivery as much as, as Delphine's comfortable with also. Yeah. I'll be back here. No surprises. Delphine's not going to be pushing in my head. Right. Hey! <laughs> Having a baby through a gestational carrier is definitely a unique experience. I mean, obviously, I would have loved to carry the baby myself. You know, that's what I tried to do for years. But listen, it just wasn't in the cards for me. So it's sad, and I wish I could experience pregnancy. But at the same time, it's such a blessing that I'm even able to have a baby this way. We talked before about travel. Yeah. You know, as far as ground travel, air travel, commercial air travel, the one thing I would not do is commercial air travel. Okay. Now, as far as the thought of driving for 16, 18 hours versus flying, I mean, if it's private, I would fly. Yeah, we'll talk okay, about that. we gotta talk about that. Thankfully, everything went very well with the ultrasound. Uh, the only thing we need to figure out now is the logistics with the travel and bringing the yeah. baby back to Chicago from Denver. Originally, we were gonna take the baby from Colorado to Chicago on a big RV, but the doctor thought it would probably be a little bit safer if we flew back to Chicago. And unfortunately, we have to charter a plane to do that, so there goes the budget. 
Oh no. I hate that word. Thank right, thanks, you. Guys. Thank thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, Delphine. Thank thanks, brother. Thank you. So here are all the colors. Okay. That I thought were good. I like natural myself. Yeah, that's the color I like too. Yeah. So let's do that. Done. Okay. Today we're meeting with Lonnie Paul to go over some of the fabric samples and the furniture ideas for the new house. Yeah, and we've given her a little direction on which way to go, but time is of the essence. And we had liked these chairs when we looked through the stuff. It's very luxe and, and like... Define luxe. <laughs> luxe is like fabu, you know? No, I don't, I don't know what that means either. Luxe is like rich looking luxurious. Dining room table. That's nice, I like that. Done. Oh my God. Wow, we're making decisions. You guys are so hard. We will have this done in an hour, this whole house. All we have really left to do is measure the windows and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go help measure okay, it. Okay, I'll I'm gonna show some other rooms, so I'll be right back. All right, but you're busy, huh? I don't know how you do it. It's been crazy. And you have kids. Yeah, I have six-year-old twins. Boy, girl? Boy, girl, yeah. Uh, how do you juggle it all? Because you travel too. When they were little, I would take them places. Because, you know, when they're little, when they can't walk, it's much easier. But um, you always have that guilty thing. Like, really? Oh, God. Like, am I doing enough? Am I there enough? So you just have to make sure that, you know, every minute with them is important. Yeah, yeah. So, they just I mean, want to be with you, and that's yeah. important. I'm trying to wrap my mind around how to juggle work and a baby. And Lonnie is a busy working mom, and she doesn't have one baby, she has twins. That's pretty tough. So I'm hoping she can give me some good advice. And even another thing, while Bill's not around, uh -huh. um, you know, I kind of fear, am I gonna be one of these women that has a baby? Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I know, like I'm walking around all day with a side ponytail, eating yeah. like chips all day mm -hmm. and like flip flops. Like I don't wanna do anything for myself and then I'm not sexy for my husband anymore. Right. Trust me, not that I'm sexy for him now, <laughs> but I don't want the baby to be an excuse. That's a hard one. That's a hard one, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, I know with the two, it was really hard because working and two kids, you're wow. kind of like, Honey, deal with it. You know, you gotta be last on the list right now, but it, it kind of takes a toll on a relationship. Wow. You just have to kind of go with the flow and trust that you'll figure it out along the way. You'll be able to do it. I hope. You juggle so many things, you'll be able to do this too. <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot from Lonnie today. So I think that I'm gonna be able to balance it all out. I just gotta take it one day at a time. So I'm gonna keep my mom Joe intact. Yeah, your mom Joe. I like the mom Joe. <laughs> my mom Joe. <laughs> All right, should we go help them? All right. So we gotta get this room done. We got a camera going in up there. Yeah. With sound. And we could watch the baby? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So I gotta say, we made some real progress this week. You have done an amazing job, honey. And now all we need is Lonnie to work her magic when it comes to the decor. She will. And then we'll be good to go. You know how in every nursery, there's the crib, and then there's like that glider that the mom sits on with the baby? Yeah. But there's nowhere for you to sit. So we're gonna, what? Well, I'm gonna sure I'm gonna be feeding the baby too. Well, I was thinking maybe I feed the baby and you change the diapers for a little while. <laughs> we'll see how that works. No. Dude, my stomach's really sensitive. Dude, it's your baby. Honey, you gotta take this stuff seriously. What stuff? This whole baby thing. I mean, this is not a joke. Are you ready for the baby? No. I'm not ready for the baby, Bill. I'm not. And neither are you. I know you always tell me, oh honey, we gotta be prepared, we gotta be ready. Are you ready for the baby? So I had a little bit of a revelation. My revelation is this. Until we hold the baby in that delivery room, we're not gonna be ready for the baby. We can take all the classes in the world, we can ask all the advice in the world, but until that baby is there, you're not ready. But guess what happens when the baby's in your arms? What happens? You're ready for the baby. All right. Thank you. I just feel like you can only prepare so much before the baby comes. You could just drive yourself crazy because you prepare, you prepare, you prepare, and then the baby comes and all of that just goes out the window. You know, you just have to follow your gut once the baby comes. I agree. I mean, I think at the end of the day, you gotta have faith. Faith that we're gonna be able to figure things out. 
I think no one's ever really ready for their baby, especially the first one. So I think if we just surrender and realize we're not gonna be ready for the baby until the day comes and we're holding our baby, then I think we're gonna be okay, you know? Surrender it is. But I am ready to start a new life together. I am ready. Seriously. Good. I'm ready. It's gonna be big. I can't wait to <laughs> just see him for the first time, mm -hmm. you know, and to kiss him. Take him his first Bears game. <laughs> this is it, our future baby's room. Mm -hmm. Love you, honey. This kid's got a hell of a bedroom. I didn't have this bedroom growing up. Got a plasma TV, he's not is even born yet. Is that what you're gonna say, Boo Boo? When I grew up, I had three older sisters and we had Damn to share right. I didn't have my own bathroom. There we go. We shared one bathroom, the four of us. <laughs> on the next episode of Juliana and Bill. The network is going to go to the Olympics and we would like you to anchor the show from London. I've lined up interviews with the top nanny agency in London. Your right. governess? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, um, shake I like that. or no shake? <laughs> oh, here come the movers. The chest goes with us. No, it doesn't. To the new house. That's an antique. That is gross. Do you think I want to buy a home in California? You think I'm doing this for me? Mm -hmm.